So at twenty nine dollars, this was uh, the the cheapest five hundred gig SSD I could find, and uh, yeah, so twenty nine dollars. Let's just say thirty dollars for this SSD, and let's open it up. made all out of plastic and this is SATA 3 of course feels pretty solid now this SSD as you saw in the packaging comes with a 3 year warranty which a lot of SSDs don't come with nowadays because SSDs don't typically last as long as hard drives do but uh, let me put this into my PC do some benchmarks and see how well it performs for $29. Okay, uh, let's take a look and see. Look at the drive. The drive is not here. So let's look for it in Disk Manager. There it is. And here's in the drive. All right, now I'm gonna copy uh, this drive into the, the new one, and then we're gonna do some benchmarks. And of course, to copy over, I'm gonna use this tool called Macrium Reflect. This is what we use to clone drives. So we're gonna clone this one. And of course, if you're using the tool, you'll notice the one you're using is gonna have the little window symbol right here. So we're gonna clone this and then select the other one. Delete, delete, next. Oh wait, uh, pretend you did not see that. Now, uh, let's, ex let's uh, as you can see, I s it's gonna leave a uh, something, it's gonna leave this unallocated. So, what we're gonna do is click on here and then we're gonna change the size all right in order to do that uh, don't select this one yet you only select up to this one and then you click partition properties and then you can extend it uh, but you you do want to leave out um, 500 megabytes which is gonna be enough for this partition No, it is not. It's gonna be 900. Now it's enough, you got 56 megabytes. Um, I'm just gonna leave it like that, it's 56 megabytes. Finish. Then this is going to take a couple minutes and I'll be back once it's done. And it looks like it only took 14 minutes to copy, to copy over the 120 gigabytes I'm using on this drive. Um, keep in mind if you're using this program it's going to take a lot longer, close to an hour if you're copying from a hard drive to an SSD. Alright, uh, let me move, move to the new drive and let's see how well that goes. And here's the new drive. You can see you have a ton of space available now see some benchmarks and see. if you get these results uh, from your benchmark that means your either your port or your SATA cable are SATA 2 all right so just make sure your port and your SATA and your SATA cable are both SATA 3 so that you get the maximum speed for this drive all right so I put it in with SATA 3 and these are my results so as you can see they're much higher but it's a bit below what is actually promised but what you, for what you're actually paying for the drive, this is really not that bad. So this drive actually has a bunch of positive reviews on Amazon. It has 4.6 stars and uh, for under $30, it is a very good uh, SSD. And uh, I was looking at also some screenshots of people who recorded the benchmarks and a lot of them have gotten way higher um, read and write speeds than I have. 
and as of the recording of this part of the video i have a cloned and reformatted drive like three or four times copying data and different files from old hard drives and old ssds and this hard drive is this ssd is still holding on pretty strong i haven't had a single issues with it uh all my files are, are there i haven't lost anything and for under 30 dollars it's a really good deal now you should always keep in mind that uh, SSDs uh, can fail at any point in time, but with this one it seems that the manufacturer is very confident in giving you that 3 year warranty. But anyways, if you get one of these drives, please ensure that you have both a SATA 3 port and a SATA 3 cable on your computer.